Science Olympiad Class 9 Structure of Atom The existence of different kinds of matter is due to different atoms constituting them. The elucidation of the structure of atoms is based on a series of experiments. One of the first indications that atoms are not indivisible comes from studying static electricity and the condition under which electricity is conducted by different substances. The structure of an atom. The word atom, derived from Greek word which literally means indivisible. According to Dalton atomic theory, atom was indivisible in a neutral particle. But Dalton's model of atom could not explain how electricity could interact with matter. The discovery of electricity motivated research that has led to the modern concepts of the atom. Michael Faraday studied the passage of electricity through liquid solutions. His famous laws of electrolysis established that matter is electrical in nature. In other words, Matter is composed of positively charged particles and negatively charged particles. Thomson's model of an atom. The first model of atom was proposed by J.G. Thomson in 1898. According to this model, the positive charge of the atom is uniformly distributed throughout the volume of the atom and the negatively charged electrons are embedded in it like seeds in a watermelon. Rutherford's nuclear model was a major step towards how we see the atom today. However, it could not explain why atoms emit light of only discrete wavelengths. In this classical picture of an atom, the electron revolves round the nucleus much like the way a planet revolves round the sun. Rutherford's model of atom. Rutherford proposed a new model of the atom. He suggested that the positive charge in an atom is contained in a small space called the nucleus. Most of the mass of the atom is also found only in the nucleus. The negatively charged electrons in an atom surround it like a swarm of bees. The Rutherford model of the atom is represented in the figure. Since the nucleus is very small, only a few alpha particles strike it head-on. Only these alpha particles get scattered through large angles by the nucleus because the nucleus has a large mass and positive charge. Some alpha particles which come close to the nucleus but do not experience the impact of all its mass and charge get deflected only through small angles. Most alpha particles do not come anywhere near the nucleus and are therefore not deflected at all. Bohr's atomic model. Of the three fundamental particles, the protons and neutrons are contained in a tiny space called the nucleus. The nucleus has all the positive charge due to the protons and almost the entire mass of the atom. The negatively charged electrons are present around this nucleus. Niels Bohr later suggested that these electrons were not stationary outside the nucleus and that they revolved around it in specific orbits. The figures indicate a summary of the various atomic models considered so far. Based on the composition of the nuclei of different nuclides of elements, the nuclides are classified as isotopes, isobars, isotones and isodiaphers. Isotopes are the nuclides of the same element having different mass numbers A. These nuclides will have same Z values but different A values. These nuclides belong to same element. Here their chemical properties are similar. 
but they differ in physical properties and radioactive properties. Examples are shown above. The important observations of the discharge tube experiment. Thus, the important observations are as follows. It was found that the charge on the cathode ray particles was the same, even when other metals were used as electrodes. Even when the gas was changed, the charge of all the cathode ray particles was found to be the same. Further, it was found that the mass of the particles in the cathode rays was found to be the same, even if the electrodes were changed or the gas was changed. Thus, the ratio of charge E and mass M called E-M ratio was a constant, irrespective of the gas used or electrode used. Conclusion from the observations All the particles in the cathode rays must be basically the same kind of particle, as they have the same mass and charge, or E by M ratio. Discovery of Electron it was Pulker in 1852 and Goldstein in 1876 who discovered the cathode rays. The discharge tube experiments showed these rays to contain negatively charged particles. The E by M ratio of these particles was found to be a constant even if the electrodes and or gas were changed in the discharge tube. So it was concluded that these particles are present in atoms of all elements. J. J. Thompson called these particles as electrons. Positive rays, canal rays. If all atoms have only negatively charged particles inside them, then all of these will carry a negative charge. But atoms are essentially neutral. They carry no charge. What does this mean? The atoms must contain an equal amount of positive charge inside them. When atoms lose electrons due to ionization in the discharge tube, they form positive ions. The positive ions are attracted towards the oppositely charged cathode and hence are called positive rays. Formation of positive rays Goldstein in 1886 made holes on the cathode and found that when a high potential is applied across the electrodes, some rays traveled away from the anode in a straight line and passed through the holes in the cathode and hit the ZNS coated glass tube walls causing scintillations. Conclusion from the observations All atoms also contain some positive charged particles. As the charge and mass of the positive ray particle when hydrogen gas was used was the smallest, this particle must be the smallest positive charge or unit positive charge. Discovery of Proton Goldstein in 1886 discovered the canal rays. He experimented with various gases in the discharge tube. Later, Thomson calculated E by M ratios. He observed that E by M ratio was highest when he used hydrogen gas. So he concluded that the lightest positively charged particle is present in the hydrogen atom. This positive particle was considered as a unit positive charge and was called proton. The hydrogen atom has one proton and one electron. Using the E M ratio of hydrogen and charge E of an electron found from cathode rays, the mass of the proton was found. The proton is 1840 times heavier than an electron. The ratio of mass of proton to electron, mp by mo, equals 1840. Thus the proton was found to be 1840 times the mass of the electron. It can be seen that the mass of electron is almost negligible when compared to that of proton. Neutrons the schematic drawing of Shadwick's experimental apparatus is shown in figure. The high energy radiation emitted from the polonium beryllium source on the left hand side is led to the cloud chamber in front of which a paraffin layer is placed. The radiation is scattered by a proton in the paraffin and a photograph of the recoil proton is taken in the cloud chamber on the right hand side. Shadwick collided the radiation emerging from the source not only with proton, that is paraffin, but also with helium and nitrogen. 
Comparing the results of these experiments with each other, Shadwick concluded that the mysterious radiation is electrically neutral particles with almost the same mass as a proton. This is the confirmation of the existence of a neutral proton predicted by Rutherford. Shadwick named this particle neutron. Distribution of electrons the following rules are followed for writing the number of electrons in different energy levels or shells. The maximum number of electrons present in a shell is given by the formula 2n2, where n is the orbit number or energy level index 1, 2, 3. Hence, the maximum number of electrons in different shells are as follows. Composition of atoms the composition of atoms of the first 18 elements with electron distribution in various shells are given in table. Valency Traditional concept of valency Valency is the combining capacity of an element with another element. Let us take the example of an element combining capacity with hydrogen. Each atom of carbon combines with four atoms of hydrogen. So valency of carbon is four. Each atom of nitrogen combines with three atoms of hydrogen. So valency of nitrogen is three. Each atom of oxygen combines with two atoms of hydrogen. So valency of oxygen is two. Each atom of chlorine combines with one atom of hydrogen. So valency of chlorine is 1. Valence electrons. The valence electrons are the electrons that are present in the last shell of the atom. The number of electrons in the last orbit of an atom, in general, helps in determining the valency of the element. To find the valency of the element, the atomic number must be known. Then, the electronic configuration needs to be known. The number of electrons in the last shell gives its valence electrons. Modern concept of valency. Valency is the number of electrons lost or gained by an atom of an element. Atoms have equal number of protons, positive charges, and electrons, negative charges. So atoms are neutral and do not carry any net positive or net negative charge. Ions. When an atom loses or gains electrons, it gets a charge. Such atoms that carry a charge are called ions. Why atoms lose or gain electrons? Atoms lose or gain electrons to get eight electrons in the last valence shell. When an atom has eight electrons in the last shell, they are more stable. Variable valency. Some elements show variable valency. They can lose different number of electrons. Example, ion shows two valencies given below. Atomic number. It is the number of protons of an atom which determines its atomic number. It is denoted by Z. The atomic number is defined as the total number of protons present in the nucleus of an atom. Mass number The mass number is defined as the sum of the total number of protons and neutrons present in the nucleus of an atom. In the notation for an atom, the atomic number, mass number and symbol of the element are to be written as mass number, symbol of element, atomic number. For example, nitrogen is written as 14 by 7 N. Representing an element. An element is represented using its symbol with atomic number as a subscript and mass number as superscript. X, Z, A, where X is any element, Z is its atomic number and A is its mass number. Example, CL1735. Now, let us briefly look at some important points to remember. Some important points to remember. Valence electrons are the electrons present in the outermost shell. 
These electrons take part in chemical reactions. The number of valence electrons determines the chemical reactivity of the element. Duplet configuration. In the case of single shell atoms like hydrogen and helium, the maximum number of electrons that are possible in the valence shell is two. When the valence shell in a single shell atom has two electrons, the configuration is called duplet configuration. Octet configuration. In the case of multi-shell atoms, all elements excluding hydrogen and helium, the maximum number of electrons that are possible in the valence shell is eight. When the valence shell in a multi-shell atom has eight electrons, the configuration is called octet configuration. Isotopes. Example, chlorine exists in two isotopic forms, Cl37 and Cl35. In Cl37, the total number of protons and neutrons is 37. As the mass of proton equals mass of neutron equals one atomic mass per unit, the weight of each Cl37 atom is 37 atomic mass per unit. In a jar of chlorine gas, the Cl35 isotope is present to the extent of 75% and Cl37 isotope is present to the extent of 25%. Consider 100 atoms of chlorine. Out of these, 75 atoms are of chlorine-35 isotope and weigh 75 into 75 AMU equals 2625 atomic mass per unit. The rest, 25 atoms, are of Cl-37 isotope and weigh 25.37 AMU equals 925 AMU. Thus, the weight of all 100 atoms equals 2625 plus 925 AMU equals 3550 AMU. Hence, the average weight of each atom of chlorine is 35.5 AMU. Applications The phenomenon of isotopy can be used to detect the age of old fossils by a procedure called carbon dating. In this, the percentage of C14 is found in the fossil to find out its age. Isotopes of cobalt are used to treat cancer. Isotopes of iodine are used to treat goiter. Isotopes of uranium are used in nuclear reactors to generate electricity. Some more special atoms or molecules. Isotones. Atoms of different elements having different atomic number and mass numbers but the same number of neutrons are called isotones. Isodiaphers. Atoms of different elements having different atomic numbers and mass numbers, but the same isotopic number, are called isodiaphers. Isosters are molecules having same number of atoms and electrons. An example is N2O and CO2. Number of atoms is 3. The number of electrons is 22. Another example is CO2 and N2. Number of atoms is 2. The number of electrons is 14.